please tell us more about Gibral Network? All right, great. So basically, at Gibral Network, we believe, or the concept of Gibral is we want to bridge the gap between the traditional economy and the crypto economy. Today, the crypto economy is worth about 500 to 600 billion dollars. Where you compare it to other money markets, it's actually still very small and it's still in its nascent stages. Uh, at Gibral, we believe that the majority of the advancements will come when you give traditional assets the transaction properties of crypto. So if I want to simplify this, at Gibral, we give, bring real assets that we know from the real world, like currencies, bonds, commodities, <laughs> equities, futures, assets that we know in real life that are regulated, stable, and insured, and we give them the transaction properties of crypto. So what's, what's good about Ethereum or what's good about Bitcoin? It's very easy to send and receive, almost. It's cheap to transact with and it's decentralized. So we bring the advantages of real assets with the advantages of cryptocurrencies and we put them into one. This is called crypto depository receipts or criders. Criders are basically asset-backed tokens that reflect the value of the underlying asset. So if I have a JUSD, here you can see JCash is our first product. We're gonna release JUSD and JKRW. That's tokenized US dollar and tokenized Korean one. Today, if you look at what crypto fiat options are available in the market, you can see USDT or Tether. Gibril aims to provide a more, uh, let's say, regulated, uh, reliable crypto fiat solution. This is very important because the crypto economy can basically lock their money or hedge into more stable assets without having to go off-chain. Whenever you have to go off-chain, you always end up with inefficiencies. It takes a lot of time to withdraw crypto. It, takes, it costs a lot to withdraw crypto as well. But if you keep it on chain and you do it in a regulated, compliant manner, it's, it's much easier. So every JUSD or JKRW we have on chain is backed up by two things by JNT in the Gibral DAO, but more importantly with an actual asset. So every JUSD is backed by real USD in the bank. The other element that's very important with Gibral is that we decided to create what we call critical infrastructure that's direction agnostic. So today, blockchains could move towards more private blockchains, uh, public blockchains, uh, no one really knows which direction we're gonna go. But what we know for sure is that you will always need wallets to store your crypto and you will always need block explorers to search for your crypto and, and disseminate that information. So we've created the J Wallet and Gibral Search to basically cater for our ERC20 tokens. So JNT, JUSD, JCash are all Ethereum based tokens. You have to put them in an Ethereum based wallet and you have to search for them using a block explorer. So we decided to build these two critical infrastructure components ourselves and that also gave us an opportunity to show the community what we're capable of before doing our ICO. So before starting our ICO we had already released the J Wallet. We've been getting great reviews for that. All our products actually are available in English and in Korean as well as our content. So I think we've, we've put a lot of focus in making sure that we focus on markets that have a lot of opportunities with them. So. The crypto economy today is, is a global economy, right? But opportunities come on a more regional basis. So we decided not to accept any US investors because regulations are still not very clear. But we also decided to create or register our company in Zug, Switzerland. Why Zug, Switzerland? Because Crypto Valley, as it's known in, in Zug, Switzerland, has favorable regulations towards token generation events. Okay, speaking of regulation, a lot of countries are trying to regulate the crypto and ICOs and what is your opinion on that? Okay, so we always think or we always say that basically crypto, if used as a way to circumvent or go past existing regulations, it will not reach its full potential. But the real value comes from working with governments, working with lawmakers to create regulations that does not stifle the growth of this promising technology. So today, if you look at Korea, Korea is a top three market in the crypto world and has is a powerhouse. They are a powerhouse when it comes to crypto. If you look at other financial sectors, Korea is advanced, but not as advanced as its crypto position. So this provides a huge opportunity for the Korean government to actually uh, play it smart in the sense that if you put regulations today, these regulations will stay forever. Or it's difficult to release regulations and change them after two months, five months, six months. So I, I personally believe that a lot of research has to be done to make sure that when regulations come out, it's regulations that is sustainable and it stays for a long time. However, at the same time, I completely support what the Korean government have been doing in terms of cracking down on unregulated exchanges because at the end of the day you have to protect 
investor rights. The retail investor has to be protected by the government, so we also have to remember that the government has a responsibility towards people and towards investors. So there has to be a fine balance that is struck between innovation as well as security and the protection of, in, of investors. Wow, thank you. And lastly, you just finished your ICO successfully. Congratulations on that. Thank you, thank and you. if our viewers would like to find more information about Zibril, where can they go? We have our website, which is jibril.network. It's available in English and in Korean. That will give you all the information you need about Jibril as products, as a company. Uh, but our announcements regarding exchanges, uh, regarding stuff that's more uh, contributor based, is the Telegram group, so, which is also Jibril Network. Uh, we'll be announcing our exchanges or listed exchanges very soon, but we're also going to do it in a regulated, compliant manner, just like we do with the rest of our business. It sounds great. Thank you, Talal. Thank you so much, Thank you.